Lita versus Anna J. And that's really been for me, this was, this was more of a surprise for me out of the Sheeta side, right? You know, Anna J. Yes. She's, you know, she going into this match, she talked about how she's a very different person than she was when Sheeta fought her the first time. But I think tonight proved that she is a very different person than uh, when Anna J fought her the first time. I, I think mm-hmm. that Sheeta is a very different champion than she was back then. Um, there have been times in which, you know, I've had doubts about Sheeta's championship reign. You know, is she, does she have the personality? Does she have the, does she have the, the character work in order to carry the women's division? And um, I think that tonight was a, a step in the right direction as far as, Sheeta showing comfort in her own skin. Um, Sheeta putting on a great match. Her her reaction to Abaddon after the match was genuinely really well done by Sheeta. It could have been really corny and it wasn't. She did a great job, I think, portraying that. Um, that's a, quite the visual there. <laughs> uh, definitely odd. Um, you know, for me, fantasy booking this, I'm curious with Anna Jay, the Queen Slayer, losing in the Dark Order. I'd be really intrigued if Abaddon joined the Dark Order. I don't know, man. She's like, there's nobody creepier than that girl. So oh, I gotta take I don't that know off. where That's things are going. Scary. But Abaddon going against Sheeta will be an interesting matchup. And I think it'll be the first time, even though Nyla Rose has challenged several times, I think this will be the first time in which we're going to really see Sheeta shook. You know, I think we got, we got uh, kind of like a, a teaser of that after the match tonight. Um you know, Sheeta handled herself really well against Anna J. The match was back and forth. It was entertaining, but Anna J's not the intimidating presence that Abaddon is. Let's just leave it at that, right? I mean, that is a terrifying visual right there. Yeah, Abaddon. You know, some of her social media posts are she's that gives me nightmares. She's just so creepy. Um, but anyways, oh. Uh, yeah dude it's intriguing it's very intriguing that she came out um like we've we've talked about time and time again like the whole planting of future storylines um the overall segment of the match i thought was very well done and i thought it was great because they they finally gave a video package for a match that you almost really don't know too much about unless you've really been following and kind of keeping up on things, you know, like you give this video package, it makes the match so much more meaningful, makes the rivalry so much more meaningful. You know, so often we get these matches, doesn't matter if it's female or the male matches that you get you're like, okay, what, why, why, you know? Right. And then to, just to throw a two minute video package, a 60 second it video helps, package right? helps so much. And I know, you know, limited on time and, you know, doing BTE stuff and all that, like you get some of that or, you know, dark, you get some of that, but um, it really is necessary on TV to really establish and make the match, you know, you just, just to follow it. And um, during the match, I thought um, Anna Jay looked better than she has been. Um, she was look. she's growing. She's still very green. I like that. She was like really playing up to her true heel and with the, you know, the dark order on the ramp. And then, you yeah, know, I got to say the that chair, I, the kendo stick. Really quick. I think Anna Jay's character work has been really, really good. I think her yeah. joining the dark order was a pivotal point in her career. She's really leaning into it. If you're following her on, on BTE and on social media, like she's quite funny. Um, her friendship <laughs> with, with Tay Conti is is certainly an interesting one. And I think that there are a lot of fans who want to see where that goes. And does it either bring Tay Conti into the dark order or does Tay finally save her friend and, and get Anna Jay out of the dark order? It'll be interesting to see where that goes. Um, but I thought that the character work is really where what's got Anna Jay to this opportunity. I think she's, she's shown that, you know, overall she's somebody who feels comfortable on screen now. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, early on in her, when, when she did fight Sheeta the first time, there was maybe a little bit more uncertainty as to who she was. And I think she talked, I think that that video package, like you talked about, did such a nice job of cementing Anna J where she's coming from and why she's different and the progression she's made in her career since the first time they fought and then countering it with Sheeta kind of saying, you know, I don't need a group behind me. I can stand on my own two feet. And you'll never truly be yeah. the person that you want that you can that you can be until you venture out on your own and prove it yourself. 
So I feel like Sheeta like did a great job tonight. It was one of the first times in which we really got a chance to see or hear from her in a segment like that. And I think that they should do more of those with Sheeta. I think that that was, that was a really well played presentation of her rather than throwing her on the spot and having yeah. her cut a live promo. True. I thought that was a really great way of utilizing Sheeta's strengths and it, it presented her very well to the audience. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, for the segment, like I said, the segment was great, but unfortunately, does it get a delete or delete out of you? That's the, the question. The because... match itself gets a delete from me. Yeah, um, I'm holding. I'm keeping my standards very high, like yeah. I have been, um, and it's extremely hard, if almost impossible, to follow Serena and Thunder from last week uh, in terms of your car- doing, you know, one match to one match comparison because you only get one match per dynamite essentially at this point, but. The segment I would I really liked, and I thought it was a strong segment of character building, but the match itself, I have to give it a delete, sadly. I feel bad um, in the sense that, you know, I gave Jericho Hager versus SCU an elite. And honestly, I think that if we're just judging a match, I think right. Sheeta versus Anna Jay was a better match than that match being honest i thought an elite from you well i feel like a hypocrite giving it a delete but that was my that was my take was in a it was the delete just because in the end i thought that anna j did not come off looking like a legitimate title contender and i i was kind of hoping for that i i I hate saying that because i was rooting for that to happen tonight I, i enjoyed the dark order kind of um, being up on the on the ramp rooting oh yeah that's great and i've loved that interaction if you follow all those people on social media it's so fun seeing them root, like kind of rooting each other on and interacting with each other the dark order is really great follow um but i think it was more the same out of the dark order and then just more losing um sadly they spent so much time building the dark order up as something credible when was the last time we saw the dark order get a win on television I know. It I'll was, wait. Uh, you know, I'll it was wait. Orange Cassidy with Brody Lee. I mean, that that's it. So if the point of all these segments is to prove how much the Dark Order needs Brody back, right. I get it. And maybe maybe that's the that maybe that's the long story that they're telling here. Right. But in in a in a capsule, just watching this match in and of itself, I was hoping that Anna Jay would be presented or come off a little stronger. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't taken. I didn't feel like she was presented in a way that kind of made me feel like she was going to beat Sheeta at any point in time in that match. Mm. Um, that said, she a very dominant champion, right? I mean, she yes. has put down some, I mean, she's put down, we're, we're big fans of Thunder Rosa. She's beat Thunder Rosa. She's beat right. Nyla Rose. I mean, she is a legit, champ in this company sure. so I, it's not throwing shade at anna J. no i just feel like the match itself didn't deliver what i was i thought that it, it was going to try to do um and in in that regard i have to give it a delete um i, I do think that the overall i don't want i focusing only on sheeta and the world championship yeah. i do think that sheeta is um it's going in the right direction as far as her character work and right. as far as her ability to, uh, you know, I think put, I mean, she's always been able to put on great matches, right. But her ability to engage with other characters is being tested. Um, I'm intrigued by how things will go with Abaddon. Um, Very intriguing. Neither one of them is known as a talker. So that will be an interesting way. How does AEW build a feud where neither character is really a strong promo. So they, they both, they both rely more on like their overall mystique or their, their kind of presence, not necessarily promo work. So that'll be an interesting way in which AW showcases a new form of storytelling. So I'm intrigued by that. Um, but not enough to say that I, I would give it an elite on, on a show that was incredibly, incredibly busy and incredibly, incredibly entertaining. It flew by. I know. Um, it just, this one didn't, didn't measure up.